In this video, we'll show you how to create a diagnostic wax up. In a situation when a patient deals with discoloration of teeth or can't stand their shape, you can suggest that your dentist makes a diagnostic wax up. With that option, you can design temporary restorations and make a model that shows the result after the whole prosthetic procedure has been completed. To print a diagnostic wax up model for your dentist, create an order using temporary pontics, temporary crowns, or bridges of them, or using temporary unprepared model and connect them into a bridge, which is optional. Choose digital impression from the object type drop down list and choose the proper antagonist. Next, order unsectioned models and click OK. In Dental Manager, click Next for the order and design the temporary restoration in Dental Designer. When you are satisfied with your design and you don't need to apply any changes, click Model to open the order in Model Builder. At this stage, please go through the Prepare Scan steps if any corrections are needed. If you designed a temporary unprepared model and kept the original teeth in the scan, then you can remove the original teeth in the Add Remove Materials step. The original teeth for temporary pontics and temporary crowns will be removed automatically at later steps, if any exist in the scan. At the Combine with Design step, you can set the options for the digital model with the restoration previously designed in Dental Designer. To make a model with Merge Temporary Design, choose Merge All the Design with the Model. Click OK to proceed to the next step. At the Articulator Interface step, you can select the needed type of articulator or add an ID tag. When finished, click OK. If you wish to make a solid model as dentists are used to, choose Virtual Trimming Preferences. In the section Model Manufacturer, check off the Hollow Model option. After doing that, click OK. The digital model is now completed. Click Close to go back to Dental Manager. To see your diagnostic wax up model, right click on the designed order. From the Advanced tab, choose Generate CAM Output. Right click the case again, and from the Advanced option, choose Explore CAM. In the window that appears, you can see that you have a few STL files. Some of them contain the design of temporary pontics, and the rest contain the created models, one for the antagonist and one for the preparation. If you double-click the preparation STL file, you can see the preview of the diagnostic wax-up model design. Now you can produce it and send it to your dentist. You have now learned how to design a diagnostic wax-up. To learn more, we do recommend watching other videos suggested in the description box. We hope this was helpful, and thank you for watching.